Hello everyone, I am Lewis. you are watching Lost in Travel and welcome on here to Bratislava, Slovakia. And just like that, Lost in Travel is now in 4K. How is everyone doing? In my last post, we were wrapping up an incredible journey through Southeast Asia, from exploring divine temples to towering skyscrapers. The whole series was an absolute delight to create. Shortly after returning home, I embarked on a trip to Wales with my dad and good friend Bailey to watch WWE Clash of the Castle. I couldn't resist an Edge's theme song to my heart's content. Then, just a few weeks later, I celebrated my 21st birthday in style in the incredibly photogenic Polish town of Gdansk. This trip ignited a desire to enhance my content and continually improve my methods of capturing the world. That's why as soon as I got back I made the switch from my trusty Canon 800D to my first mirrorless camera, the Sony A7 III. I even did a test trip while pumpkin picking, remember that vlog? I posted those three videos shortly after the trips were completed just because they were time relevant and I knew that my vlog backlog was growing as quick as my subscriber count is growing lately. This was a positive development because it's only now that I bid farewell to 1080p and usher in this new era of lost in travel. In the coming weeks, you'll join me as I put this new camera to the test in some of the world's most iconic locations from the dazzling lights of New York City to the scenic mountains of Scotland. I'm determined to master this new piece of equipment before I finish university and embark on what might be a once in a lifetime journey. And that brings us to today. My first solo set break, the Sony A7 III, took me to the charming Slovakian capital city of Bratislava. There are any slight errors or moments where the focus isn't perfect in this video, Please forgive me as we explore the world in 4K together. Welcome here to my 19th country, guys. I know what you're saying, I f it feels like I'm always away, but I just couldn't resist the temptation of being in a European city and experiencing the star of autumn. And I found really cheap flights to Bratislava, a new destination. So I was like, why not come out here and see in all of its glory? So I'm gonna be here for the next four nights staying in the Safe Stay Bratislava Hostel. My first time staying in a six person dorm. I'm trying to keep this very low on a budget. And I'm gonna show you how to explore Bratislava here on a budget. So I'm now walking through this massive garden just outside of my hostel. It looks to be a palace of some sort or just a very cool building, but I'm now going to be starting to head over to some of the most famous landmarks here in the city. Stay a while, maybe I will find the words to say this time. I'm an honest man, will try and speak my mind It's hard to find your way without a lie One of the things that I am mainly when looking forward to doing while being here in Bratislava is just finding all of the hidden gems. This is quite an underrated city as it is, being really situated close by to Vienna and Budapest, which are probably a lot more popular than this place, which is why I grew attracted to come in here because, well, I've been to Budapest, absolutely loved it. I've not been to Vienna yet, it is on the cards, but I wanted to come here and just be able to see what you don't really see the ordinary tourists come in to do. So I'm now going to take you up and explore the old town, which I believe is completely pedestrianised, no cars, because I'm not going to die today, fingers crossed. I don't know if I was drawn to visit Bratislava because it is a beautiful European city or because it has got a castle right here in the centre, similar to my hometown of Edinburgh. Let's see what it is like. Bratislava Castle is certainly the most famous landmark here in the city, but it wasn't always the case. 
This castle was built in the 9th century, but it burnt down in the 1800s. They didn't ever decide to rebuild it and try to fix the damage for about 180 years. It was literally just fixed not that long ago in the last century and now it looks like what it looks like today. Something about you makes me lose my cool. It's dumb the way you turn me straight into a fool. Ain't fun. Girl, you make my heart go. I don't know if it's a good thing to say this, but Bratislava is so quiet and I love it. I'm literally just wandering around the cobbled streets here and just taking it all in before I delve right in to visit the castle and Everyone's just been so peaceful here, like, <laughs> I'm probably disrupting the peace by talking so much, but it's just so amazing to be just lost in your own company. I am here on a solo trip. Let me know down in the comments if you have done a solo trip before and where you went. I'm trying to do it more often just because I do personally enjoy my own company. I do also like being with other people, but it's just nice to be able to just wander around and just take photos and video to my heart's content without anyone having to wait for me and just get lost in the magic of travel. Let me know if you enjoy it, yay or nay to solo travel. Alright, so I'm just walking through the gardens here at Black Brother Castle. I've not even made it to the entrance yet because I am flabbergasted with how beautiful these gardens are. It's so picturesque. It reminds me of very traditional European royal gardens here. They've got like the maze trails with the hedges. Um, not high enough to get lost or anything, but enough to be like, oh boy, this place means business. Also, did you know that Slovakia is quite a new country? It used to be Czechoslovakia, obviously, but it used to also be owned by Hungary. And there's been so many Hungarian kings and people in the monarchy that resided here in Bratislava Castle before it became Slovakia. But anyway, these gardens are amazing. I can walk through them all day, but I'm kind of going to make up to the entrance now. Castles are usually built on top of hills for one main reason, and that is the defence mechanism of it all. People struggle to get up hills, and it allows the army to be prepared for any incomers. They have the a surrounding view of everything so they can see where anyone's going to come attack, but it's great to me for one reason, and that's the panoramic views they provide. There's definitely one reason why it's not good of being a hill for me, and that is that I get puffed out all the time. So. Nah, you get the best of both worlds. You've got to either climb up the hill and get the views, or you don't and you miss out, but at least you're not tired. <laughs> I just didn't expect Bratislava to have so much nature just right outside its say. That's an amazing contrast there between city and greenery. So I'm not actually going to go into the building and I just went around the grounds because that is free and I'm a cheapskate so I only do things so I don't have to pay a single bit of money towards it. Definitely worth your time guys and now it's time for me to head to my hostel and this is the biggest landmark here in Brass Level so I will definitely probably be back to take some more photos at different times of day because it's starting to rain right now. All right, so I went for a hostel for the first time because when I go into railing next year, I want to be able to do it so cheaply. And hostels are the way to go when you want to do a budget trip. So this is gonna be my first time. I'm a bit nervous. Hopefully my roommates are nice. It's a six person dorm. I have got a rule for myself that I need to make at least one friend while I'm here. And if I don't, I will cry because I'm a loner. But hopefully I do, and I've got playing cards and Uno to try to like bring people together. Hopefully the hostel maybe have like some events on to to make an introverted me try to actually come out my shell a bit and speak to people rather than speaking to a camera like I normally do. I'm going to be <laughs> if all I was fail is I'm just going to sit out my playing cards on the table. I just sit by myself, looking like have you ever seen a meme of the bear sitting at the picnic table? or something. Oh, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a photo up. I'm going to look like that bear and hopefully someone will walk into the room and be like, this guy's a loner, I'll go speak to him. And then, boom, friendship. <laughs> I'll let you all know how it goes. Through every year and afternoon Here I have flown Where you flew 
Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying Bratislava as much as I did. It is a magical wee place, but I just want to come on here and interrupt myself to announce the launch of the Lost in Travel 2024 calendars, which you can get now up to November 20th. If you are like my vlogs and still living in 2022, then you may want a calendar so you can keep track on upcoming adventures and other important stuff, just like when is the next Lost in Travel vlog going live. This will make the perfect Christmas gift for any travel enthusiast in your life, as it is not only just a date tracker, but it is also jam-packed with some of my greatest shots from this year. You can also choose from three different themes. So you can get yours today by either heading to the link in the description or heading to Lost in Shop via my website lostintravel.blog and while you are there, why don't you pick up a print or two? So I just want to let you know I wouldn't be able to do this without any of your support. So thank you all for giving me the chance to capture the globe this year, one photo at a time. Anyways, why not we return to 2022 and to my next day in Bratislava, Slovakia. Welcome here to another morning in Bratislava. I've just left the hostel and I went to Tesco to get some breakfast chocolate croissants. By the way, UK club cards do not work in Europe, so don't attempt it, because I did and I spent a lot more than what I was expecting, but oh well. Anyways, we're now here exploring some more of Bratislava and I'm going to take you to something pretty awesome. One of the main things that I just love so much about Bratislava is just the fact that most of the streets are pedestrianised here, so I'm able to just walk onto the cobbled streets, take the photos I want, get the video I want to capture, without thinking of being able to get run over by cars, and that's a really good thing because the streets are so picturesque here in Bratislava. It cuts the town It's always there Moving, yes, falling On the ground You can't tell where it's going Meet Kumil, the sewer worker. He is one of the most famous landmarks here in Bratislava. No idea why, it literally is just a statue in a drain hole. But I think it's the story behind it. it, it what's he doing in there? Is he just watching people walk by? Is he going down to clean the drains? What is the story behind Kumil, the sewer worker? Why is this guy not as famous as Kumil, the uh, Jordan, the poop covered banana? Relaxing with a chocolate bar and watching the world go by beside St. Martin's Church. I'm living the best life. So welcome here to St. Martin's Church everybody. I've just had a look inside and it's just as beautiful as any other European church is. They really do put all of their creativity into these churches and this one is just the same as them all. So incredible. But probably the, one of the most interesting facts about St Martin's Church, it was constructed in 1291, but between 1536 and 1783, Hungary owned Slovakia, which meant that this church was actually used to be the coronation place of the Hungarian monarchy. Eight Hungarian queens, 11 Hungarian kings were all coronated in this very building. And how ironic is that, because it isn't even in Hungary today. So right now I'm currently underneath the bridge that crosses over the Danube River. The Danube River is the second largest river here in Europe and it spans through 10 countries. That's right, it's crazy how many countries you can get through <laughs> in a trip around Europe and the Danube River flows through 10 of them. I've already seen it in one country when I went to Hungary a couple of years ago. This is the river that flows through Budapest, separating Buda and Pest. Unfortunately for this one it doesn't separate Brat and Slava but uh, I still need to cross it to just take in the scale and how wide this river actually is.
One of the main reasons why I decided to book a solo trip here to Bratislava is because I was just desperate to get away during autumn because it's just the best season to be away with a camera, to be able to just take some photos and to be able to just immerse yourself in all of the beautiful colours. I've got to say, Bratislava is provided. off the day here I went to solo pizza you just can't go wrong with pizza definitely when it only cost two euros per slice so guys I guess this is just gonna be where I'm gonna wrap up today's video thank you all for watching Bratislava has been a blast and I highly recommend coming out here and exploring it yourself it's such a small but compact city and I believe that is why it's got the nickname the little big city because even though it's so little it just leaves such a big impact on whoever decides to visit it. But anyways, I've still got one more part here in the Slovakia series. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe. Because you do not want to miss what I'm doing next time. Spin it. One of the main things that I like to do when I'm exploring new places is go out and explore out with the cities. And that has led me to this picturesque place. Wow.